Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 251. That is, what is release candidate, that is RC phase of the software? Let me answer. So what is the RC phase of the software? Software while being developed or during or while getting released into the market goes through several phases. The different phases the software will go through are pre-alpha phase, which is the first phase of the software. After pre-alpha phase, we have alpha phase, then beta phase, then release candidate phase, which is a fourth phase of the software. And finally, we have the stable phase of the software. Okay. The last and final phase of the software is stable phase. Okay. These are the five phases of the software. So now coming to the question, what is release candidate phase of the software? That is the, what is the, this particular phase, release candidate phase of the software. This is the fourth phase of the software guys. Okay. First of all, this is the fourth phase of the software where beta testing will be performed, okay? In this phase, beta testing will be performed. So, uh, I, I'll go deep into this, why beta testing will be performed and all, okay, how beta testing will be performed here. As part of this uh, release candidate phase of the software, software will be released to the customers, okay? Software will be released to the customers for testing purpose and collecting the feedback from them, okay? So, so while releasing the software to the customers for testing purpose, there are different release names, okay? So different companies uh, while releasing this software in this release candidate phase to the customers for testing purpose for collecting the feedback, we'll call these release names with the different names. What are the different names? RC release they may call. They may call that as silver release. They may call that as gamma release. They may call that as delta release. Any of these names, okay? The company may use for naming the release of the software to the customers for testing purpose and collecting the feedback in the RC phase that is release candidate phase of the software. So to understand the release candidate phase well, we need to understand the previous phases of the software. Coming to the pre-alpha phase, which is the first phase of the software, here testing will not be performed. Here development will start. Okay, development has just started with the help of the whatever the requirements or any documents. Okay, here testing will not start and here no software will be released into the market. Okay, here no software will be released into the market. This is a pre-alpha phase. And the next phase is the alpha phase. Okay, here formal testing will start. Till now, there was no formal testing, but in alpha phase, the formal testing will start. This is the second phase of the software where formal testing will start. Here in the pre-alpha phase, even developers will not perform testing, yet. but in alpha phase, uh, all the levels of testing will be performed. That is, uh, there are different levels of testing, right? Uh, unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and user acceptance testing. All these levels of testing will start in the alpha phase of the software, while developers will perform first unit testing, followed by the integration testing, where software testers will perform system testing, okay? And finally, user acceptance testing will be performed as the last level of the testing in the alpha phase, but, the problem here is user acceptance testing will not be performed completely. Only one part of the user acceptance testing will be performed in the alpha phase. That is alpha testing will be performed by the client side business people, not end users, okay? Client side business people who know the business well and who know the, who, who actually interact with the customers or end users and know the needs and expectations of the end users, right? They will be coming with a checklist and traveling to the developer side and sitting side by side, they will, ask the developers to modify the software according to the user needs and expectations, okay? So whatever the knowledge they have, they will use that for the, and help the developers in modifying the software or uh, modifying the software according to the user needs and ex expectations. Here software testers also will support this uh, team, okay? And here, all the features need to be completed, guys, okay? Uh, whether it can be from the requirements or whether, uh, whatever the client side business people given uh, needs and expectations of the user accordingly, all the features need to be completed. No, no more features need to be added in the upcoming phases. Okay, like that it will be there. Here, software won't be released yet, okay? Still, till, uh, still in alpha phase, in spite of doing all these levels of testing also, software will not be released into the market, okay? Here also, software will not be released. The reason behind that is, Beta testing is not performed only up to alpha testing is performed in the alpha phase. Where is beta testing? Beta testing is not yet performed. So that beta testing will be performed in the firstly, okay? 
firstly the beta testing will be performed in the beta phase of the software this is the third phase of the software where software will be for the first time released into the market that is to the end users or customers but with an intention of testing purpose only not for selling and usage purpose okay here software will be released to the customers for testing purpose and for collecting the feedback from the users okay not for the real uh, real release it's not a real release day right it's not a real release okay release is with an intention like uh, the customers can use in their real environment and uh, give us back the feedback okay with the help of the feedback where the company want to improve the software according to the user needs and expectations okay that what is the purpose here so here that's what is a beta testing guys okay hence beta testing will be done by the end users or customers of the software okay but there are two levels okay there are two ways of uh, the company may decide to release the uh, software for beta testing into the market uh, in two models okay one first model is open beta release okay first model is open beta release in open beta release way they can release where the software will be released to the entire public all the complete public it will be released for beta testing the complete public may use it and provide the test it and provide the probable feedback okay possible feedback in closed beta release they don't want to release the software to the entire public rather they want to select the limited or closed group of end users or customers only limited customers or limited end users only these people will use and give the feedback okay so that is beta phase okay so that is beta phase but once the feedback comes back in the beta phase the story is not ended okay the story is not ended the company is still not satisfied in the beta phase so whatever the feedback the company has received as part of the beta phase by releasing the software to the end users or customers for testing purpose and collecting the feedback that based on that feedback again the development team will work on that will modify the software according to the feedback received from the okay end users or customers in the beta phase okay and finally once the software becomes stable again okay and all the feedback received from the users end users or customers is incorporated into the software then the fourth phase of the software will start that is called as release candidate phase okay to understand the release uh, release candidate phase we have to first understand what is pre alpha alpha and beta phase that's the reason i explained all this story okay so whatever the feedback that is collected that is now uh, incorporated into the software according to the user needs and expectations with the help of the developers and testers and uh, okay this is the last uh, this is the fourth phase of the software and here be again beta testing will be performed don't think that beta testing will be performed only in beta phase beta testing uh, will also be performed in the release candidate phase okay in that stable version of the software wherever the feedback received from the end users or customers is received from the beta phase is incorporated again the beta testing will be performed in the same way again open beta release will happen or closed beta release will happen based on the company decision in open beta release as you already know complete public the software will be released to in closed beta the software will be released only to the closed group of end users or customers okay closed group of end users or customers so here software will be released to the customers for testing purpose again okay beta testing is the same thing right so for testing purpose again but this time what is the difference between this beta testing and this beta testing in this beta testing uh, till now we have not received any end users or uh, real customers feedback for the first time we have re received the feedback by releasing the software into the market for the end users or customers in beta but this time uh, the software can and the software will be kind of bit more stable and bit more convincing for the end users and customers because we have already collected the feedback in the beta phase and uh, incorporated into the software but as a second chance again we are going to provide beta testing chance to the end users or customers by releasing the software to the end users or customers either in open beta way or closed beta release way okay on to limited end users or complete public fine and uh, while releasing this uh, while releasing the software for beta testing we call that particular software release with the different names case okay that is rc release we can call okay so in the rc phase if we are releasing the software uh, to the end users or customers for testing purpose and uh, for collecting the extra any other extra feedback okay we call that release as rc release or we can also call that as silver release or gamma release delta release different companies will call this release to the customers or end users for testing purpose and collecting feedback with different names like this okay so this is what is release candidate phase 
RC phase of the software. So hope guys, you got the full picture of what is release candidate phase of the software. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.